Are we going the wrong way? What? This- what? Wait a second. Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not. I'm going the right way. That guy's going the wrong way. Holy cannoli. Yeah, he's definitely going the wrong way. What the hell was that? That guy's a madman. Hello everybody and welcome back to Jalopy. My name is Twister and today we are gonna be going on a grand grand journey once again. So we are gonna go into Hungary today. That's gonna be very exciting. Hello Mr. Uncle. How are you doing? So, shall... Yes? Shall we keep our journey on a try today? I don't know what was up with that little uh, jank there, but it's fine. Let's take the Uncle. Let's take him with us. Our car is a little bit busted up. Actually, I think we... Yeah, our tires are completely messed up. That is a serious issue. But it's not the end of the world. Alright, how are we doing with our engine and whatnot? Do we have anything that needs repairs? It has been a few days. Everything seems in tip-top shape, more or less. Except the tires. We would need proper repair kits to fix the tires. How, how bad is it? Hold on. How bad is my car right now? Let's see. We're doing... Okay. Yeah, we'll select the path soon. Don't worry. Oh, God. That sounds very, very awful. I mean... We're a little bit slower... But it's honestly, it's a little bit annoying because of the noise, but it's honestly not bad at all. So I think instead of wasting our money on fixing our tires, <laughs> we're gonna just take them broken. I don't really care. We want to save up to get the, re the repair kit. We need $300 for that. Oop. What happens if I pass the border without selecting the path? That's my question. I haven't actually done that ever. Here we go. Take my papers. Let's see. Everything seems in order. Thank you very much. Must be clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. This map. Okay. <laughs> you know that as well, huh? All right. Uh, I guess I can't move, so I do have to do this right now. That's okay. Let's choose a path that we want to take. So they're all okay. You know what? We have. Do we have fuel in our backpack? I think we have enough fuel. I think we have fuel stored. Let's go for route three, right? It's sunniest. There is a junk here that's gonna allow us to get some car upgrades. I'm hoping we have enough fuel to survive the path. It is a fairly short journey. I think we should have enough fuel. I think we do have some in the back. We are actually kind of low over here. That's kind of worrying. But I think we have a full full tank over there. Alright, can we go now? Oh, we totally can. Awesome. Thank you very much for your assistance. Did you give me my password back? You did. Alright, what is this gate? What? Is oh, God. Our car is, like, losing traction completely. Uh, it's okay. Let's turn on the radio. Enjoy some lovely, lovely sing-along sing songs. Just, like raise the window please because it, uh, it's too loud otherwise yeah so we our tires are a little bit broken we are not driving properly i'm holding w right now we are turning to the side that is always a very very bad thing but we'll, we'll manage again we can't always fix the tires the idea is we go as far as we can saving as much money as we can then once we get stuck if we get stuck we can just return home anytime and back home, we have a fresh set of tires, so we can just change them without spending money on tires. It's it's the way the game is supposed to be played, because if you just keep, like, buy, you, you, buying stuff, repairing things non-stop, you will run out of money, and you will have to go back anyways. That's at least my experience with this game. I have 40 hours played, so I tend to think that I do sometimes know what I'm doing. Not always, though. We are getting really fast. Who needs tires anyways, right? Yeah! Oh my god, we are insanely fast. I love it! I'm loving this so much right now. Oh god! A bit jumpy wonky. Yeah, I don't think anything bad's happening to us. Oh god, more tires bursting. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Alright, so we can just continue on our merry way. This is so loud! Is your windows closed? Windows closed, uncle. I don't know why it's so loud, though. Another border cross. Yes! Let's... Let's go! Let's go! Oh god! Got it! It's time to import banned goods for lucrative profit, but our journey will be much simpler if we stick to the rules. Did we? I think we smuggled something. Did we smuggle something? We may have smuggled something. Alright, next stop is Letania. That should be reasonable to reach. I do really hope we have spare fuel in the trunk. Because if we don't, I just made a huge mistake. Mark some route with a funny car icon. Okay. The condition of the road for that. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh god, we are losing speed rapidly. This is actually bad. We have, we're having some trouble going uphill with this car. That's okay. Uh, hopefully we don't encounter any cars that are driving in, this, in the opposite direction of us. I did set the car density to max. Still haven't seen any cars today. But that might just be the road over here. Just avoid the pothole. Thank you very much. And I think we will... A car will turn off very, very soon. But we do have fuel in the in the back. 
so we should be perfectly fine. I, I hope we have fuel. Like, I'm 90% sure we have some fuel stored. I really should have checked that, but the dude didn't let me get out of the car when I gave him the passport, so I wasn't expecting to have to make decision, that decision right there on the spot. I guess I could have gone back into the town for more fuel, but I think we'll be okay. I don't think we're gonna have any problems. It just like, got us to have a little bit longer. We're running out completely. But it should be reasonably easy to just refuel our car. Alright, it's gonna be like a long way down now. So we made a huge climb now. We can just hopefully slide down. I'm gonna actually let go of W. I'm hoping we don't use any fuel if we're not holding W. There's more dust, on, more garbage on our stuff. So I'm not holding W at all right now. The idea is, can you just like please turn this on, please? Yeah, for, thank you. Just clean some stuff. Yes, yeah, so I'm not holding W at all. I'm hoping the momentum will carry us all the way down. That is the plan. I don't want to waste my fuel for no reason. I'm slowing down considerably. There is... That does look like a junkyard though, right? There is like a, some kind of signs. Go a little bit further, give him a little bit more speed so we can make this slide down the mountain. So yeah, we are being economical with our gas choices. I could just hold W, waste more gas, but I think this is quite, quite reasonable. I don't think we are using any gas at all when we are... When we let go of the throttle, so that's fine. Okay, we're slowing down considerably yet again. I'm gonna have to give a little bit of a go, a little bit of speed. There we go. I gotta be careful, because when we run out of fuel, we will just stop immediately. It's gonna pull up our brake and everything. So I don't want it to happen. 2.10. So we are one quarter of the way through. That's perfectly fine, if you ask me. I also guess we're using more fuel than usual, because we have busted tires. That does make total sense. And also, I think we are actually using fuel, even though we're not holding W. So my plan might not be perfect. That's perfectly fine. Oh, okie dokes. This is nasty. Okay, I think this is gonna lose like fuel. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we lost fuel. All right, let's go refuel our car. Please have fuel in here. Okay, we have full fuel. Oh God, I was actually kind of scared that I had nothing. We have oil as well. We do not have oil. We can do some repairs. What is busted up here? Actually, I don't want to do any repairs. Cause my, my plan is to go to the junkyard, get some new items. You can usually find items in the junkyard. We can repair those and just replace them. I probably shouldn't go for a fuel tank either. Because if we do that and we find a new fuel tank, I want to have some in here so we can refuel the new fuel tank. Because you, you can find a big fuel tank. And then if, if we have no fuel in the back, we can just we just have to carry it with, with us and use the old fuel tank for our journey. All right, so this should be like more than enough. I probably should have only gone with, I don't know, 5 liters maybe to begin with. Then we could have done more in the future. But I'm still relatively happy with the way things are going. There's three different drug condition types. Fine, fairly poor, and really poor. Fine meaning there's no potholes, fairly poor meaning there are some potholes, and really poor meaning there are a lot of potholes. Really? Well, some country's drug condition will also mean whether the road is built from tarmac or dirt. Interesting. I did not know that. That's something to keep in mind for the future. Oh, there's a crate over there. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have to carry it all the way. There we go, just stop. We're gonna have to carry it all the way until Hungary. Actually, we are in Hungary right now, right? No, we... Yeah, we are in Hungary right now, my bad. All the way until... The next stop is Yugoslavia, right? Maybe until the boarding crossing over there. So that I shouldn't have opened that. Just not focused. But we have some tobacco. We sold it for 16. We can get more money if we go and we smuggle it around. As there can, we can get a better price than, price than 10. Who's honking? Why are people honking like crazy? There's like no one around. I also shouldn't let the car... Uh, let, leave the car running. I think that wastes, wastes fuel until we're not inside. And again, I do need to fix the tires, but my plan is to get as far as we can, save as much money as possible. We have 121. And uh, buy some upgrades, honestly. Buy some upgrades, or find some upgrades. Just get some upgrades, because the early game is super difficult. We have just a crappy, crappy car. We have all the beginner parts. That's a bad road up there. It's going to be kind of a pain. We need the better car parts. And also we need car upgrades. Those are the most important thing in my mind. Like the, 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 the roof storage, very important, very useful. And the, uh, the, the repair kit that goes in the back, very important as well. Are these cars just like, what are you doing? That's weird. Does, all right. Where is the, the flipping junkyard though? Can we go back there? No, that's completely closed off. Does this even have a junkyard or does it have nothing? Hold on. 
let's stop for a second. I want to quickly check that because I maybe there's nothing here. Maybe I made a huge mistake. No, there, there's some, there's a junkyard. A question mark means a junkyard. Unless they changed that. A question mark always meant a junkyard, which I never. I always thought that made no sense. A question mark should, in my opinion, be a random encounter. But the only random encounter in the game is the junkyard, so it's always the junkyard, which I always found kind of weird. They maybe should have added more random encounters but i i have no idea what they would use so potholes are to be avoided at all costs yeah really you don't say hitting, just hitting one would be enough to pop your tire yup driving with a flat tire is really not advisable why not what's wrong with that like we're making great progress we are still super slow but we were super slow before it's not that much of a difference oh god we're slowing down considerably all of a sudden because we're going slightly uphill and this is kind of torture that's all right so let's actually pay attention there's gonna be a downhill ride over here what a nice lake over there. There's a downhill ride. And I want to see if we'll actually use fuel if we don't hold W on the keyboard. My guess is that we will, but I think that we should not. Uh, are we going the wrong way? What? This- what? Wait a second. Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not. I'm going the right way. That guy's going the wrong way. Holy cannoli. Yeah, he's definitely going the wrong way. What the hell was that? That guy's a madman. Alright, stop holding W, we are like at the halfway point, let's say. Oh, he went through here. Interesting, but there's also two crates. Oh, I'll definitely have to stop for a second. So there goes my plan. Now yeah, leave the radio going, why not? Let the uncle have some fun. Oh, we cannot move here? Alright, if you say so. Can I just... Can I please get out of here without moving the car? I guess not. All right. There we go. I guess we can. Awesome. Okay, we have two crates. I'd rather just carry them like this if possible. It does not appear to be possible. Let's bust them open. Why not? What do we have in this? Maybe it's something useful. Maybe it's something that's useless. There is a little bit of coffee. That doesn't sell for a lot. So I'd rather not take it with me. Let's see what we get in here. Ooh, a bottle of wine. Those are usually very expensive. 103! What? <gasps> because it's contraband, right? Oh, that's amazing. We have to get to the end now. That's gonna give us so much cash. We're gonna be filthy stinking rich. That's okay. We must not fail. The most important thing today. Do not dare fail, Twisted. We need to succeed. We're gonna get so much money. It's gonna be 103 plus. That's gonna be almost enough for the uh, upgrade. For the toolkit in the back. That's what I need right now. That's my most important thing. We can also say if we get the toolkit, we can also sell our crowbar because we won't have a use for it. And having the toolkit in the back means that you can always uh, repair things, which is great. Another thing with tires: you find all kinds of compounds and tire types on your journeys. Salter compounds, for example, offer better grip but wear down faster. Okay, reduce wear rate. Interesting. I don't really care about those things. I never like changing tires takes so long. I don't think it's worth ever changing tires. Because it takes so so long to change tires and the roads are so short. And it's just it's just a waste in my opinion. I, I'm probably gonna just stick to whichever tires are fine. Sometimes I may change them if we have nothing better to do. But we have like... We can only carry so many tires at the same time. We can carry I think one in the back and one on the roof. Maybe it's two on the roof. So we can't even carry a full set. That's a junkyard. Alright, awesome. That's exactly what we needed. So... Every time we get to a junkyard, we have to solve a puzzle. The puzzle is as follows. It's different every time. Let's see. So over here, we need, we need to open the gate. You open the gate by pushing this lever. It doesn't work because we're missing something over here. So what are we missing? We're missing, I think, the ignition coil. The thing stock. It has some fuel. The battery has full charge. The engine is not working, though. So maybe that's the problem. But I think it's missing the ignition coil. Is that a thing? I didn't want to do that. I'll just open the trunk. I think we need an ignition coil here. Let's see. Yeah, we just use our car parts. No, it's not that. All right, we have our engine down here. So let's just take our engine. Just switch them around. There we go. That was the problem. Get our engine back. Very. Thank you very much. Is that our engine? Yeah, there we go. Just put it back in our car for the time being. All right. Let's go explore for a little bit. Oh, we can also take these things. Which might not be an awful idea. Because if you look over here, 
actually we'll, we'll do that once we're done we may find an upgrade yeah we can upgrade our parts with those parts they're all the same as we have right now but if our cards car uh, parts are broken we can just replace them with the better ones but we have a another stock carburetor that's exactly the same one as we have at the moment please have something really there's literally nothing what is this a battery i mean we have that already what Oh, this is such a disappointment. You usually find so many things here. Oh, we have one more. I haven't checked. Oh, nothing is... E oh, my God. Did, am I missing something over here? Did I miss, like, a part somewhere? It can be, right? You also can't go inside unless they change something significantly. I'll give it a go anyways. You never know. It might be... Again, it's been a long time since I've last played. No, this doesn't work. At all. So there's nothing for us here. There's the battery. I mean, you could sell it for one dollar, which is a waste. Oh, we have an. Oh, never mind. We have an ignition coil here. Uh, minus zero point one second to ignition time. Yay. That's a thing. Not very relevant, but it's nice. What's that? Just a random thing. So there's usually like three or four parts. There are three parts here. But two of them are stock in the exact same as the ones we have right now. So what we're gonna do, you will just open up our car. Let's go fix it. Let's go fix whatever we can fix. So first of all, we probably wanna like switch these around. Let's just look at their stats compared. So this one has 0 0.09 liter to fuel ignition cost. They're basically all the same, but this one is a little better, so I'll take it, even though it's a bit busted. And then we can take these things. So we have a slot carburetor, one out of three. We can just take this carburetor, which is at three out of three, and just switch them around. So we can just leave the broken part over here if you want to, right? Yeah, just leave the broken part over here. We have a battery that has 90% charge compared to our battery, which has 62% charge. So we're definitely going to switch those around as well. There we go, leave this one here. We have a stock fuel tank. No fuel. No oil mix. Mm, we have fuel. So that isn't broken but it's also not ideal this engine is broken we did everything else so that was kind of a disappointment honestly we have a ignition coil as well we could take like the fuel tank and sell it for seven dollars but that's not worth a lot so i think i'll just leave things as they are and just continue on our merry way very i'm very disappointed that was a very poor haul i was expecting a lot more but i guess today is not my day so let's actually just oh god that was, that was very bad. I did take the coil, right? Hold on, I actually want to check that. Maybe I didn't install the ignition coil, but I do, can't, wouldn't be able to start the car without the ignition coil, right? Let me check that. Because it took so long to start. Yeah, I guess it's because it's broken, huh? That's fine. Just because it's very much broken. Uh, get the lights on and move the brake. Let's go. Oh, we are so slow. We are so slow, guys. This is the slowest car on the entire planet. What is happening? Okay, I'm finally getting some speed. So yeah, we should be relatively close. Clo so yeah, we should be relatively close to the end of this road. Oh, turn around, please. There we go. Taking your sweet time, Mr. Car. We have some reasonable loot. We can sell it all once we arrive. At the border crossing, we will have more than enough fuel. Very, very disappointed with the junkyard. We didn't get anything useful, more or less. But things are looking up. Things are gonna start looking up very soon. We will get some nice money. Hopefully, we get very lucky with the motel and find some useful things. And we can just continue on. If we get fully stuck. Oh, there should be looking ahead. Awesome, we're there. Yeah, let's find the motel and sleep and visit the market as well. There's time, there's always time. The game's, like, time stops at 11 p.m. So there's, like, no rush. There's literally no reason to hurry in this game. Uh, only if you want to, like, enjoy beautiful daytime instead of, like, look nighttime. But that's a different thing. All right, so we're gonna go there. That's usually a very, very tiny ta town. It has, like, four buildings in total. So it should be really easy to find what we need. And let's... First things first, I do want to go sell some stuff. I don't really care about repairing my car. Still, I think we can make one more drive, one more road easily, and then we should probably, we'll probably get super stuck. Or we might be able to get the, 
the uh, upgrade that we desire. Have to keep in mind, it is a random upgrade. They offer three random upgrades. They're not always the same. We could get really unlucky and get nothing useful. So that's also a possible problem. All right, the lucky to ship is right over there. Yeah, as I said, like, there's like five buildings over here in total. Let's go to the motel first. Here's the motel. Actually, no, not the motel. Actually, yeah. You know what? I agree. Let's go to the motel first. Uh, do we really need to park outside the motel? I will. But give me a second. So first things first. I want to go to the motel. And I want to knock on people's doors. They might give me some money. It might come in handy. Hello, lady. Yes, I'll be staying with you tonight. 25 in the room, so it did actually go up. Tobacco is banned in Yugoslavia. So that means we can sell it for more money, right? That's what I think it means. No one over here. Maybe they won't talk to me until I actually paid for the room. That would be kind of annoying. Take a peek. Yeah, I'm gonna know someone else. That's fine. Give me some money, please. Yes! How much is that? 30. That's actually quite nice. Thank you. Yes! Okay, doing great. That's a lot of money. So we actually might have 300 in... That's gonna be enough for the upgrade. The thing is, we won't have enough for the motel then. So now we might have to make a choice. Do we buy the things we want to buy? Or do we continue on our journey? Well, let's actually see what's offered in the Leica shop. Because if, if we, we do have the repair kit, I'll just sell some things. Go. If you have, not the repair kit, the... Uh, you know what I mean. Tool rack, yes, 300. So they do have it on offer. That's actually really lucky because, again, you get two random upgrades. 181. And we will have enough to buy the tool rack. So I think that's going to be the most important thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell everything we can that we have in our trunk right now. We're going to sell everything at this shop. And hope for the best. So I don't actually want to go inside first. It's going to make my life a lot easier. Come on, it's so slow. Oh, God. Yeah, and I think we're gonna just head back. If we have enough money, we will take a nap here, we'll sleep. But if not, we'll just head all the way back. And hope for the best. We will get more fuel when we go back. We will also get, like, new tool, new uh, car pieces to repair the existing ones. Just switch them around. That'll be the plan. So we have some coffee beans, we have some cigarettes. Okay, it's gonna sell for a lot of money. We could sell the cigarettes here, we could go to Yugoslavia, but we have to sleep. Which is not ideal. Alright, coffee's on sale here, which is bad. I'll sell it anyways, because I don't want to carry it around. Not a lot of money, $104. Let's go, let's go, we can do this. Oh, we can sell this as well, right? We can sell the crowbar. Yeah, because we'll get the tool rack, awesome. Let's get that and get the cigarettes as well. Actually, I'll leave the crowbar for, for the time being. We, if we, we can sell it if we end up... Because it might have changed something, I want to be super safe. I will have enough money, right? Yeah, just sell this. We have $305, that is enough. Let's leave our car over here for the time being. Let's send the wallet back home. And yeah, this is gonna be it. We got the tool rack. We're really lucky that we found it. Again, they offer three random items out of a pool of, I don't know, 10 items. Maybe it's a bit less. So we are quite lucky that we got exactly what we needed. So we'll definitely go buy it immediately. Let's go to upgrade. We can also buy other things. We could buy like a better ignition coil. Or better... Like better anything, but I think this is the most important one. Tool rack. Or this. Tool rack is definitely better, in my opinion. Because if we have the tool rack, we never have to buy repair kits again. Yeah, it's basically infinite repair kits. There we go. And also more storage space. Because we we, could, we need the, the car jack as either. That's actually great, we can sell that as well, I just remembered. Right, let's go get tool rack level 1. Make sure we apply it to our car properly. There we go, it's gonna go over there. As you can see, so what does it say? So value is zero, all right, just sell it all over here. There we go, all right. So what do we get? We get a car jack that goes back over there every time. We get a crowbar as well, goes back over there every time. And we have the repair kit. This car will repair items from 0% to 33%. So it will not upgrade them fully. For example, we can upgrade the air filter. We can fix the air filter a bit, but we can't do it anymore because it's at one out of three. We cannot upgrade this. Actually, we can because it uh, goes up to 33%. We cannot upgrade this. We cannot fix this. But that's great. That means it will never be completely broken. Because we can always fix it. At least partially. Then let's actually sell the carjack and the crowbar. 
We want to repair these as well. I don't actually want to quickly. Ch I want to check if I can use this to repair tires. I don't think you can repair tires with this anymore. I think you need to buy the actual tire repair kit. And we're gonna have not enough money to stay the night. Is the thing. We'll sell this. We'll sell this. Maybe 25. Actually, no, we need 25, right? We need exactly 25. So we can spend the night and try to make one more journey. It might be good, but before we do that, I just want to quickly check. And the uncle will give us money in the morning, right? So yeah, we will not be at a loss. Uh, let's uh, just roll this up. So you need to get this opened up. Can we repair the tires is my question. We cannot repair tires with this. Alright, that's good to know. That's fine, just screw them back on. No, don't, don't remove it. Screw it back on, thank you very much. Send this back over here. Send this back as well. Just drop it, it just flies over here. Actually, it's actually like super useful. We don't need to worry about this ever again. And before we do anything else, I do want to refuel. No, actually, no, we don't have the money for it, right? We'll refuel in the morning if needed. Just close everything over here. Let's make our uncle happy. Go to the motel. And he will give us money in the morning again. Same as he did last time. That's why I'm not too worried about things going poorly for me. So let's go. Get our things. Come on. Oh, it's so... Come on. Uh-oh. 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 That's bad. That's really bad, guys. Alright, I, I don't like the sound of that. Can we fix the ignition coil, maybe? I think that's the problem, right? Let's use this repair kit for the ignition coil. Is that the problem here? It should be, right? Ignition coil. Fix it as much as we can. Let's fix the... Everything else is... Fix the engine as well for a little bit. There we go. So this should work now. Are we out of battery power? There we go, that was it. Alright, fix it. Perfect. Okay, let's go to the motel. Oh, still so slow. Stupid busted tires, man. Go. God, it's so flip floppy. So spooky scary. Let's just go park here, doesn't matter. No one else is gonna wanna stay here. Let's check in. Yeah, let's do that, why not? Take the money. What happens if we don't have enough money to stay the night? I guess we can just go back. But I don't think Uncle will help us out here. And he should give us money in the morning. That's what he did last time when we were low on cash. Hello, sir. Hello, lady. Yes. Yes, so you have the room? Yeah, I have exactly that. That's all my money. Send this wallet back home. Let him enter the room. And let's read his diary. 1A. That's a great number for a room. There we go. You walk funny, Uncle Man. Uh, there's nothing ever over here, so that's okay. This is some time for you to see the town. There's like nothing in this town. There's literally nothing in this town, Uncle Man. Yeah, go to bed. Open your briefcase. I, again, I don't know why you go to bed with your briefcase. That's so weird. But I don't mind. Let's actually just read your things. What does this say? Let's take a peek. My, It's so hard to read this. My dearest... Okay... It's so hard to read this. I'll actually probably read this later. Yeah, I'll just ch check this out later because it just pains me a little bit to read. I'll probably just brighten up the picture so I can see it more easily. Okay, let's go to bed. And I'm actually just going to end this one here, actually. It's been a great, great episode. Thank you all so much for the support on this series. I see that you love the game. I love the game as well. So we both love the game. You all love the game. And we are having fun. But yeah, I'm going to actually just end this one here. Thank you all very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Honey Bunny Games. Now we'll see you next time.